Okay, welcome back. This is another session of Ask Boomer Tech Adventures, where we take a few minutes to uh, talk among ourselves and you can eavesdrop uh, to hear, hear our conversations. Um, so my colleagues, Ed, Ed Brzee and Jill Spencer are, uh, we're, we're all iPhone users and uh, we're going to be talking today about something that uh, I know that I've been thinking about and actually um, did something about pretty recently. And that's, um, is it time to upgrade our iPhones? And what are some things that we want to uh, consider when we're doing that? Um, so I'll start off a, a little bit and I'll hand it off because I, I think I'm the, uh, the newest purchaser of the three of us. Yes. And um, I upgraded from my um, iPhone 10 or X uh, to an iPhone 12. Mm. And um, there are two, two major reasons that I, that I uh, upgraded. Uh, the first one is I, I do a lot of um, photography with my iPhone. The, the iPhone has a really nice camera. And um, what I wanted is I wanted the night photography option. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, it, it's uh, without the night um, option, what happens is, you know, there, there's a set uh, speed for the shutter. And so um, the, the iPhone 12 allows for a slower shutter speed, which allows more light to uh to be to enter the, the lenses because it, it stays open for a longer period of time so that was that was one thing because you know in in maine we get some great great um sunsets and sunrises and um so you want to get that um and the other the other reason that i got got it is uh believe it or not i think i wanted a smaller screen I, I had the larger screen and um, just carrying it around in my pocket made a lot of sense. Uh, but also um, I, use the, um, I use the keyboard with one hand and on the larger screens, uh, when you're typing with one hand, which is basically just your thumb, it can be kind of a stretch, you know, to get to the other side of that keyboard when you're just typing with your thumb. So those were kind of two uh, two of the things uh, that that I really wanted to uh, quote up, upgrade to uh, from the twelve. Plus, they had a great um, trade in, which was which was good. I think it cost me, you know, I think it was like an additional five dollars, you know, for the period of the um, of the uh, payment to uh, to upgrade, and so I was I was fine with that. So you didn't pay out right, you just added it on to your monthly. <clears throat> yes. Yep. Yep. Um, and you know, I I you know, I kind of I looked at that and it was like it was the same price. So it's kind of like, you know, free loan. <laughs> 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 I, I'm not paying interest. <clears throat> yeah. So how about you guys? What are uh, when, when you um, when you guys upgraded? Uh, which wasn't that long ago. You know, shall we shall it. we work backwards from the newest to the oldest? I not think to, so. Not it's, to put pressure, Joe. That would Jill. be you. That yeah, would be me. That um, would be you. My my iPhone 11. The reason that I upgraded is not nearly as technical or technological as Chris. I had our my wife and I both had six S's um, that were doing really well. Except I did replace in the last year, um, I did replace a battery um, and that kept us going. So one reason was I felt some peer pressure in my Boomer Tech group here that I was the, had the oldest phone and it was, time for, it was my time in the cycle to upgrade. So that's one reason. Um, we were getting to the point where the 6S was not going to be, um, uh, was not going to allow updates. Um, it's still okay now, but I'm not sure about what will happen with the next one. They cut it off at six 
success was still okay. Um, and probably the most important reason, we always recycle our phones when we get new phones to um, one of our sons and his wife, <laughs> and they needed they needed some new phones. So that that was the reason we upgraded. I'm not nearly as technical as Jill and Chris. They're great photographers. I'm learning. How, I take a lot of photos, but um, um, I don't. I'm not a great photographer, but I'm I'm learning. Um, I like to uh, read on my phone. I still use my laptop for primary. Chris, I think, uses his phone all the time, I think. Um, but um, the, um, the iPhone 11 has some great properties like Chris's 12 in terms of portrait photography and night photography that I'm still learning how to use. But it's a great all-around pho phone, um, bigger than the, the success that I had. Um, but um, but I really like it. Okay. Well, I thought it was time to upgrade. <laughs> I found this in a drawer. Have you ever <laughs> heard of Audio Vox? I mean, but I, when I had this phone, I mean, I thought this was just terrific. It's probably was, worth some money. Yeah, maybe <laughs> an antique. Right. So I have a 10X and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The reason I upgraded was I, at the time I was teaching in-person adult ed and folks were coming into class. I had a six and people were coming mm. into class with eights and um, some people were come, starting to come with tens and they could do the portrait photography. And of course I couldn't on the six. Uh, so I said, okay, it's time. Plus I was gonna be taking a trip to Italy. So I wanted to upgrade. The camera was another reason. Mm. Now the 10X has a zoom on it, not the just pinching your fingers open, but it has a 1X and a 2X. I will have to say 2X wasn't as fabulous as I thought it was going to be. In fact, I went out and bought a small um, regular camera with a big zoom hmm. uh, to take with me. Uh, one of the things that's important to me is size. So this is an old iPhone. And I need something, I don't have a huge hand, so I need something that fits. So this size fits, but this, Chris likes the smaller screen. Um, as my eyes get older, not so much. And also I'm not an adept typer. And so I'm always making mistakes on the smaller keyboard. So I like that. I did, when I bought this phone, I did look at, they had another size and it was bigger. And I couldn't hold it comfortably. So that was important. The biggest thing for me, though, I think is price. I know that I want the most storage I can get. Uh, and so I tend to look at price. OK, what can I afford? And I go for the most storage because I do take a lot of pictures. Um, I don't download a lot of music, so that's not an issue. Uh, but pictures and videos take up a lot of storage. So that's another uh, reason I picked the 10X at that time. And of course, six months after I picked it, it uh, was obsolete. Uh, I don't know what I'll do because I'm now in the um, rotation. I guess I have to look at what comes in the fall. But I got to be honest, right now, this does everything I want it to do. Uh, so it's going to be a tough decision to think, well, what are you, will it will be the, what, the iPhone 13, 14? Um, that's going to have to be pretty special. Um, you know, it's got to have the size, the price is going to be right, the camera's got to be good. Um, it's got to feel good in my hand. And uh, so I'm not sure what I'll do come fall. I think I will try to. Uh, make the 10 go a little longer because I've only had it for three years and it just, you know, they're expensive. Yeah. And even though I like Chris, am I um, put it in, into my monthly fee with AT&T? Um, if I don't have to spend the money, I don't want to. But I wouldn't be without my iPhone. Of course, I wouldn't be without my iPad. I'm the iPad user. I mean, I have a laptop or I have a, a computer. But I live on my iPad. And so if I'm going to upgrade anything, <laughs> it's probably going to be mm -hmm. my iPad. So that's where I am. 
actually just this is maybe a, just a side note, but it is kind of interesting. Chris lives off his iPhone. Jill lives off her iPad, and I live off my my laptop. Yep. I mean, our, we're, our we're, preferred we're devices, right? Yes. There we go. Right. Um, just some things to consider um, as we're kind of wrapping this up. Since I had the most recent experience in, in upgrading, um, and I, I upgraded during the pandemic, and we're not out of it yet, but hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully that will be uh, moving forward, but I think we still need to be careful. Um, the, uh, the Verizon store that I went to, you had to make an appointment to go in. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't just, you couldn't just go just in. Go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing that was a, a little bit different uh, that you want to consider is that uh, because they don't want to keep people in the store for long periods of time, because they're making appointments, they don't, they don't uh, do the do the transfer and backup mm. in the store, oh. mm. right? So they actually ask you to go home or go to another spot where there's Wi-Fi in order to actually um, update your uh, new phone and get it all set up um, off-site. So. So you're going to have to kind of plan ahead in terms of are uh, you going to have access to um, robust and uninterrupted Wi-Fi? Otherwise, oh. it's going to take a long time. It's and you know if you uh, probably if you did it like overnight, you know if you planned that, but yeah. you 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 can't plan to like just take it out of the store and, and start start using it you know, when, as, as soon as you get home. So that was a little different. Um, some, up, some, some kind of additional things to consider. Um, I would highly recommend that um, you do not leave or do not go very far without putting your iPhone into a case. Oh yeah. Because they talk about how, you know, yes, they can, you can drop them, that kind of thing. But if they aren't protected by a case and, um, you know, if they fall kind of at an angle, you know, where the edge catch, catches something, it doesn't take much to crack that screen. Right. And so, uh, you know, some kind of a case that protects the edge. Um, what I use is I use a, um, a bifold you know, almost like a wallet. Uh, so I can, so it's, 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 a, it's like a follet, you know, <laughs> a phone and a wallet uh, put together. The other thing that I really like is the wireless charging. So um, when you get the new phone, they usually, they don't throw it in, but there's a deal, you know, it, it, it costs a little less than it would be if you bought it separately. But so rather than kind of plugging in your phone, you can just put it on this, uh, this charging pad. And um, from what I've read, it, it's actually, um, it, it reduces the wear and tear on your um, charging cord, on your connecting cord. Because yeah. where that, yeah, where that, yeah, where that plugs in or where that wire actually connects to the, to the plug, those can get frayed. Some of you may have experienced that, but it also wears at the um, at the uh, connectors inside the phone, mm. and so over a period of time, that can that can um, get worn. So a case and um, a wireless uh, charging is, <laughs> is, is is something that would be an upgrade. Let me ask you: When you bought the new phone, well, well let me back up. When I bought my new iPad. All I had to do to transfer the information was to sit it next to the old iPad. And I must have pushed a button. I don't remember. But it was. Yeah, is it prompts like you. The, is it the same way with a phone? Yep, same way. Um, it, it, it'll prompt you and, you know, you, you'll just kind of transfer it. But it'll do it wirelessly. Yeah. Um, which, yeah isn't that's super, the iPad. which isn't, yeah, which isn't super fast. Uh, sometime when we talk about up upgrading our laptops, um, you find that um, plugging it, plugging them into one another 
is going to be faster. But that's a that's a different conversation. Yeah. yeah. Anything else on on kind of considerations for upgrading your your phones? No, Just, but you've got me thinking about that night photography and. <laughs> that might be what tips me over to a new phone. Jill, the good, go. the good news about your XR, I was just reading this morning that your XR is on a list of good um, of good phones that still have value, even though they're several years old. So they, they mentioned the XR in particular. Oh. I have one quick thing, it, because we get this question all the time. What do you guys think about if someone was going to say, it's um it's uh, february now they want they're thinking about buying a new <laughs> phone but not necessarily a brand new phone should they wait until after the next set comes out in september and the prices go down on the older phones what do you think well i makes sense as long as you don't have any major problems with your phone at this time right it makes sense to me of course, I always want the new shiny ones. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, I think I, you know, I think that's kind of important thing to consider. Um, you know, is you know, what is it that you want to actually accomplish with your phone? Yes. You know, if 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 photography is not your thing and you're basically just using the phone as a phone, then maybe some texting or something like that, and you don't need to you know, get those upgrades. I mean, those are the, you know, it's, it's kind of the additional things that Apple seems to upgrade, right? They, they make the phone better or they, um, you know, they play with um, the functionality, but, you know, making a phone call <laughs> doesn't get any fancier, I don't think. No, or, and being, you know, and as long as maps is accurate so that you can, yeah. um, get good directions yeah um, oh you know the other thing i would just add is for, you know from from the older phones to the newer phones um the newer phones their batteries are are quite impressive mm. um, yes. they really yep. are making an effort to uh to make it so that battery i think my <clears throat> my battery is you know it's supposed to like go for like you know, 10 days or something like oh, that really? without wow. having to, yeah, yeah. Well, depending on what you're doing, right? Yeah. But yeah. yeah, so it's, you know, they basically, I think the advertisement is, you know, designed for all day constant use. And I know that, you know, before I upgraded, um, you know, by the, you know, by the middle of the afternoon, I'd be going like, oh, you know, I probably should just plug this in. So oh, wow. when I go out tonight, I don't, you know, yeah. lose it. That was when we went out at night. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, and also that leads to, you know, always have a car charger. Yep. 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 That, that yep. sounds like a good lead in to another Ask BTA where we can talk about uh, different kinds of chargers for different kinds of places. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure. So um, I think we'll wrap wrap up this conversation, but it doesn't have to end here because you can contact us with your questions and thoughts or anything like that at, um, at boomertechadventures.com. That's our website, uh, but we're also on social media. So if you go to Facebook and uh, look for us at Boomer Tech Adventures, uh, you'll find us there. We actually have a private group that you can request to join. It's our iPhone, iPad group. Um, and the last thing is I'll, I'll plug is that we have some amazing courses uh, so that you can learn even more about your iPhone. And, um, and that also will put you in contact with us. So if you have more questions, uh, during and even after the class, uh, you can contact us because all of our classes come with personalized support and lifetime support. So this is Chris, Jill, and Ed for Boomer Tech Adventures, Ask Boomer Tech Adventures, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>